Moonrise Kingdom stars Kara Hayward, Jared Gilman, Edward Norton, Bruce Willis, Bill Murray, Francis McDormand, Jason Schwartzman, Tilda Swinton, and Harvey Keitel. Written by Wes Anderson, Roman Coppola, and directed by Wes Anderson. It was released on Blu-ray October 16th, 2012, and runs 94 minutes. Moonrise Kingdom follows the story of two 12-year-old pen pals who fall in love and decide to run away together. We follow them on their journey through the wilderness on the small island of New Penzance. A host of authority figures search for them. The police, the scoutmaster, deputized scouts, and the parents, trying to find them before a fierce storm reaches the island. Edward Norton plays Ward, the unlucky scoutmaster to the male lead, Sam, played by Jared Gilman, who runs off, leaving his resignation letter. Ward will eventually lose his entire troop. Bill Murray and Francis McDermott play married couple Walt and Laura Bishop, parents to the female lead Susie Bishop, played by Kara Hayward, who runs off leaving a letter to her little brother, saying she borrowed his record player. Bruce Willis plays Captain Sharp, a policeman who organizes the search for the two missing children. Captain Sharp and Laura Bishop are seeing each other behind Walt's back. He seems to know, and grows more miserable as the movie goes on. At first glance, it appears to be an innocent enough looking film, but what appears to be a film about two kids falling in love and running away together goes much deeper as they're both awkward outcasts with supposed emotional issues caused by problems at home. With themes covered such as depression, adultery, bullying, adoption, orphans, and broken families. It has mature themes similar to the Grand Budapest Hotel, but thankfully, there's not as much to keep track of as in that film. Things are more straightforward here. Eventually, Sam and Susie get caught, but with some outside help, manage to run off together again, this time getting married. They find Cousin Ben, a greedy, opportunistic scoutmaster from a different camp, played by Jason Schwartzman, to perform the ceremony as the search continues. Without spoiling any more, I'll just leave it at that. There are a couple obvious Peanuts references in this film, and it makes sense. Sam, who says rats, when the scouts find their camp, is very much like Charlie Brown, who is an awkward outcast himself. Also, the scouts' mascot is a dog named... Well, you know, the writing is clever as always, with a lot of that witty, subtle humor. It never tries going for the obvious big laugh. For example, Laura Bishop uses a megaphone throughout the film around the house to call the kids and communicate to different rooms. I didn't think much of it when I first saw it, but now it seems funny and kind of makes sense because she doesn't have to yell. The story takes place during the 60s and some of the scenes look like they were shot on old film stock. It really sets the tone and brings you into the movie. Overall, if you're in the mood for something different, I recommend watching it. It has an interesting story and great performances all around. 7.5 out of 10.